pussy, pop that pussy, doo doo brand. Ghetto style is like, it's sort of like house music, but it's like more in a raw of what, what we see every day. Just a basic, just beat and a few vocals, you know, nothing really, a lot of production, you know what I'm saying? Just simple. Just bass, the boom, 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 and then the tracks that go with it and the chants, you know, the, throw your hands up, you know, shake that ass, stuff like that. Everybody had their certain hit track for us, the ghetto stage. When everybody fires Dion, Milton, everybody making tapes. We had like D Man saying, Bang It. You know, he had a track called Bang It. Funk had a, pump, a track called Pump It. I had a track called Move It. You know, those was like the main tracks at the time. We had Pump It, Move It, Bang It. And oh yeah, Hit It From The Back, Eric Martin. Real, real, real explicit. You know what I'm saying? Real explicit. Because it's real shit. It's what motherfuckers want to hear. If they didn't want to hear it so much, they wouldn't buy it. You know what I'm saying? Or they wouldn't listen to it. They wouldn't come out, you know what I'm saying? Play me some booty, you know what I'm saying? That's all I hear and shit. So, I, and being real, real explicit to me is not really like, I don't know, it's not bad. I don't see nothing wrong with it. We sort of like gangster rappers in, uh, the, you know, house music, sort of speak. You know, we just call it how we see it, like, damn, she got a big ass, you know, something like that. You know, hoes in the house, you know, we just get in the wall. Like, you know, some of the DJs from the South Side, they call them car booties, you know, can I get a ride? Hell no, you know, that's how it is. That's that's the type of stuff they like today, you know. It ain't number of tracks with nasty lyrics, though, so, you know, big thing. This just took somebody, you know, to come and do it. Somebody had to do it. I hate when people, like, down it and be like, why you got to curse and disrespect the women? What about these movies out here? You, you, that's a visual. You see guys smacking women and whiz, you know, we just speaking on it. My grandmother is like, uh, I should make some, a lot of, a lot of the music um, without all the profanity in it for the little kids. But shit, it's hard as hell. I heard, I beat that bitch with a bat. I'm like, damn, that is so, old. that is vulgar. so vulgar and right. Right, right, abusive. Right. If you would say, hit that woman with a bat, it don't sound good. <laughs> Hit that lady with a bat. You know what I'm nah. saying? That's like, you can't hit no lady. You can hit a bitch, because a bitch ain't right. What? Let's go to the most. 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 Bye bye bye. 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 Well, that's me. Where you get that tape from? Who is that? Who doing that voice? It's like, oh, this guy named Dave, he's been at the taste, man. You know, he cool with all that. I was like, man, he sound cold. Won't you, you know, give me his number or something like that? Yeah, man, because, man, he got the voice. Man, he just got the voice. I was like, yeah, man, uh, man, I heard some, some tapes that you did for some strippers and stuff like that. And um, I need for you to do a few things for me. You know, you need to work together on some stuff like that. It's like, oh, yeah? Or um, I was like, as a matter of fact, I'm working on a tape. How much would you charge me to do uh, some, you know, some samples? I mean, some, some words, say a few words for me. Oh, man. He was all excited and stuff. I would, oh, I'll charge you. I wouldn't charge you nothing. But, you know, you know, I get down there and stuff, you know. Oh, I'll at least charge you $10 because I got a few more of the words I want to say. I was like, you sure? Just $10. I'm <laughs> like, just $10? That's it? Yeah, just $10. Alright, man, okay, well, hey, go to work. I hook that up and stuff. It's like, oh man, check this out. I made this up a couple of weeks ago. Uh, let me just say, do this shit, do this shit, do it. I was like, yeah, I just keep it going. What else you got? Pump that shit up. Let me, let me hear you say it. You're just still going, I'm like, yeah, give me that. Oh, everything you got. I'm like, still going. I'm like, give me that, give me that, give me that, give me that. He's like, alright, alright, alright. He do was just like, like he coming out of his pocket with, okay, I got this, okay, I got this. A whole bunch of stuff. I'm like, man, I'm glad I was there with this guy. Just started $10, huh? At first it was like, 
a lot of tracks with no, even no samples because, you know, I didn't even have a sample at first, but then when I got my sampler, then I started doing a lot of phrases. Now I'm doing like hooks, phrases, and like the whole thing. Um, I might just do the samples one day and I'll come back another day and add the music or a track with it. I called Funk because Funk was staying upstairs from me at the time. I was like, man, I need for you to, you know, say these few little words for me, like pump on the floor and, you know, some other little things I need for you to say. I was like, man, why don't you say it yourself? I was like, no, man, you got the voice. I need for you to do it. I want you to do it, man. It'll sound better if you do it. It was like, um, he was like, oh, man, I'll be down there, man. So he came on down and he hooked it up for me. It's like, pump on the floor. I was like, no, nah, that's not it. <laughs> he said all kinds of crazy ways. It's like, pump on the floor. I was like, no, man, that's not it. <laughs> what are you doing, man? I don't even know how stuff is going to sound until it get finished. So when, like, when I do a tape and my tape get finished, I be like, damn, that should sound good. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I don't. I gotta find my dookie booty. She gotta pay go dookie booty. I gotta find my dookie booty. Well, actually, used to work, um, he used to do security, right? And um, he was doing the tapes and stuff, too, on the side. And I used to laugh at him all the time, like, that ain't no money. This is where the money at. The first tape that he ever did that sold a lot was to the World Blow Up, which he only got $300 off of. And me and Funk was cracking on him, like, man, $300 for a master tape? Yeah, that's good, man. I can do a lot with $300. I was like... We just, me and Funk, just looked at each other and started laughing. <laughs> I was like, well, you'll find out, you'll find out. It, it, it's not so much the money, but I do want to get paid for what I do because I love this. You know, when I, back in the day, I wasn't really, I really wasn't thinking about no money then. But, you know, if somebody want to look to benefit off me, I want to benefit from myself too, you know. Don't knock me before I get there. When I get there on top, then talk to me about it. But right now, I'm trying to get to where I'm, I'm just like everybody else. I'm trying to get to where I need to be. Dion was like the first one bringing out a lot, a lot of records back to back. And then Funk used to be like, man, he bringing out too many records. What's wrong with this guy, man? And you know, later on down the line, Funk was like, man, I think I'm going to bring out some more records because he getting too much props and he getting too many licensing deals. So Funk stopped bringing out records back to back. I was like, man, forget y'all. I mean, I just make stuff that I like. If people like it, then it's cool. I don't like be like every song that I make is like the shit. If some people like it, then, you know. Um, it's cool with me. At first I wasn't, I was doing it for the girls, but shit, I was like, if I can't make no money in doing this shit, I was like, fuck this shit. After a while, it was like, well, you know, might as well, you know what I'm saying? So I started make. a matter of fact, I put out my own record. I don't even got a copy of it, <laughs> but I put out, um, I don't even know the name of it. I put it out, pressed it up. And that's when I hooked up with the guy up at Dance Mania. You know, DJ Funk was the first one to actually do, actually do a record called Ghetto Tracks. He's the first guy, in, and it kind of came, you know, he was actually doing that kind of music, but he is the first one to call the tracks Ghetto Tracks. And that actually came, came about because a lot of stores used to call, and the kind of music I was putting out, they would just say, give me some of those Ghetto Tracks, you know. Uh, you know, because it was just tracks by guys who lived in the ghetto, so they used to call and say, just give me some of those ghetto tracks. Separate me from a lot of DJs is that I ain't no DJ that, that like one style of music. I might do particularly one style of music, but man, if it sounds good, it sounds good no matter what it is, you know what I'm saying? DJ Funk sound is like a lot of different sounds, because I can be playing some bass shit and then I can go to some ghetto shit and then I can go to some techno shit and I can play some club shit, but it sounds that I like. I'm the kind of person that if I walk into a party, no matter um, who was there, um, if it's a song that everybody like, it'll make me think like, damn, what the fuck is that? Let me listen to it. Why do everybody like this? You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't know. It just keeps me from being so close, man. I learned that when I was younger, you know, to give everything a chance. If you don't like it when you first hear it, so what? You know what I'm saying? Just listen to it. Let me see your booty bounce, booty bounce, booty bounce. Let me see your booty do the hubba bubba, baby.